the story of my life will change. Say it for yourself. Tonight is that night and heaven will touch your life. Father, we bless your name. Good God. So good. Always good. Forever good. And today you'll be good to every one of your people in Jesus' name. Tonight, wonders in every life. Healing in every life. Salvation for everyone. Lord, I pray you roll all the problems away and fulfill your promise in every life. Thank you, Lord. We know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you. You will see the blessing tonight. We're coming to the message tonight. And the message is centered on the covenant of healing by the Lord. The covenant of healing by the Lord. What's a covenant? It's an agreement that God has made with man. I think the one you will understand is the covenant of marriage. That a man and a woman, they come together in marriage. And it's a covenant. And that covenant is not just that you are living together. It's a covenant of joy. A covenant of fellowship. A covenant of caring one for another. And now God makes a covenant with you, with me, with everyone. And in that covenant is the care of God for you. The provision of God for you. The blessing of God for you. And in particular, the healing of God for your body. And as we look at that tonight, it, it, there are, you know, when that covenant begins, it goes on and on and on for we human beings until death do us part. The covenant of God has a beginning. And the covenant of God continues with you, with me, till the end of life. For us, the covenant between a man and a woman, it ends at the point of death. The covenant we have with God has a beginning, has continuation, and then when we leave here, the covenant does not end. We're now with him. It's with us. We're with him. And we see Jesus, our Lord. It continues until consummation. We're reading from Deuteronomy chapter 7. Reading from verse 12. Wherefore it shall come to pass. That means in your life it will happen. If ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God is not just the Lord, their God is the Lord your God. It shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swear unto thy fathers. Mm -hmm. 
the covenant which he swore. And he said, this is my covenant with you. And when God swears to bring something to pass, nothing, no one can hinder or stop that. What are the terms of the covenant? What is the provision in the covenant? Look at verse 15. In verse 15, and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness. That's the covenant. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee but he will lay them upon all them that hate thee. The covenant of healing by the Lord. He has promised us that he will take away all sickness, all disease, all infirmity, all weakness, all impotence, and all things that bring pain to your body, to your life. He will take it away from the inside. He'll take it from all the members of your body. He'll take sickness away from every part of you. And tonight, it begins in your life. You forgot my amen. And then you continue and continue, and the Lord will keep you whole, well, strong, and perfect in health in Jesus' name. Hey, look at one, two, three things we're talking about. Number one is the commencement of healing for received people. You come, he receives you. He rejects nobody. If you were the only one on person on earth, Christ would still have died for you. And when you come to him, he casts away nobody. He receives you. He accepts you. You're saying, oh Lord, help me. I want to wash this and clean that and make this better. He said, come. Come as you are. Whatever needs to be fixed in your life, come as you are. He'll fix you up tonight. And because he receives you, like the father received the prodigal son. No question. How did you spell, spend all that inheritance I gave you? Looking at him, we don't have to ask him question. We know he wasted everything. And yet come as you are. And the Lord receives you. The Lord receives you tonight. The Lord receives you tonight. And then there is the commencement of healing for his received people. Number two, the continuity of healing for his redeemed people. He redeemed them. He got them out of Egypt. And there was like an invisible door between them and Egypt. He closed and locked that invisible door. And because they redeemed, because they were saved, he now continued and continued the healing. That's what he will do for you. Amen. 
Number three is the consummation of healing for his renewed people. Let's look at number one. Number one, the commencement of healing for his received people. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh, we read that how many times now in our Christian lives? We read that many, many, many times. And it says, if thou, you in particular, don't worry what other, about what other people do. Don't think about what other people do. Don't follow, follow their action. You make up your mind. I listen diligently. I hearken to the word of the Lord my God. I will do that which is right in his sight. We human beings, we look at other people and we want to do what is right in their sight. And they can give nothing. They can do nothing. They cannot even bless our lives. Their lives are even not completely blessed. And we're looking at them. We want to do what is right in their eyes. In the covenant of healing, the Lord said, Hakim, listen. And then receive the grace and the strength to do what is right in his sight. And will give your ear unto the commandments and keep all his statutes. This is the covenant now. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have put brought upon the Egyptians for I am not I was I am not I will be I am today the Lord that healeth thee that's the covenant the first part of the covenant hear the word do the word hear the word repent hear the word come unto me hear the word make God your God hear the word follow the word of the Lord as it's revealed unto you that's the first part of the covenant. The second part of the covenant. I am the Lord that healeth thee. He heals you tonight. He delivers you tonight. He takes every pain away from your life tonight. In Jesus name. Now I'm talking about the commencement of that. The beginning of that. Look at Psalm 105, verse 37. In Psalm 105, verse 37, he brought them forth. He's bringing you forth. I said, He's bringing you forth. He took them out of Egypt. What's that? He took them away from the gods and the idols of Egypt. He took them away from the darkness and defilement of Egypt. He took them away from the terror and the bondage of Egypt. 
he brings you out tonight. All the darkness around you, he brings you out tonight. All the evil power, evil influence of the gods, of the idols of Egypt, he brings you out tonight. Out of that oppressive culture in Egypt, he brings you out tonight. I am brought out. I am brought out. It says he brought them forth also with silver and gold. With silver and gold. He's going to provide for all your needs from today. All the penury of the past, all the famine of the past, all the sweating of the past, today it comes to an end. And there was not one feeble person among their tribe. When he brought them out, they went to their millions. And at the very commencement that he brought them out, not one feeble person in all their tribes. That's the commencement. That's what God is going to do tonight. That's the covenant. Every feeble part, point in your body will become strong. All the joints that are weak and feeble, you rise up in the strength of the Lord. My eye nerves are weak. Those feeble nerves, it will strengthen them tonight in Jesus' name. When I walk a little, I want to sit down somewhere because my weight, my back, every part is so weak, cannot, cannot carry me tonight. All that weakness, backbone, waist everywhere, leg, and, and my heart, my heart, it's like I don't know what is happening there. Strength will come to every part of your body tonight. Not one feeble person among their tribes. The children were healed. The boys, the girls were healed. The married, the single, they were healed. And the people that are, you know, they are aged and we can even excuse sickness a little bit and say, Papa, it's old age sickness. And we can even say, Mama, you understand? When we're getting old and old and old, there is old age infirmity. No. No. A thousand times, no. There was not one feeble person, old, young, boy, girl, men, women, of their tribes, everyone became strong. If I could come to you there, I said, if I could come physically to you there, I'll put my hand on your shoulder and I will say, I am talking about you. How did that happen? Psalm 107, reading from verse 20. Psalm 107, we're reading from verse 20. He sent his word and healed them. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them them from their destructions in the plural. He sent his word of power. 
that word is sent to you where you are there tonight in Jesus name have you seen those uh, boys playing uh, their little ball on the field and then they kick they kick that ball and a fellow on the other side, he knows what to do. That when the ball is kicked to your side, you catch it. And I send that word to you tonight. Catch your healing. Catch your deliverance. Catch your strength. Catch your health. Or uh, in one country in Africa, and sure, uh, you know, having crusades just like this, there were boys playing game. Yeah, just a local game. I kick it to you. You catch it. You kick it to me. I catch it. And one of those boys, deaf and dumb. Having a nice time, great time, kicking the ball, catching the ball. All the time I was preaching, they were kicking and catching. Then the preaching finished. And I said, now the miracle healing of God is coming to you. And I said, I send it to you, catch your own those boys they stopped playing the football they were not listening before but now they were listening I said get ready get ready it's coming your way and I said in Jesus name deaf ears dumb tongues hear and speak that boy was the first to catch the healing because he knew how to catch the ball he applied that so how to catch the healing it comes to you tonight who will catch his own who will catch his own you are healed in jesus name we're looking at number two. Number two is the continuity of healing for his redeemed people. Continuity of healing. Uh, you see, healing is very simple. Health is very simple. You begin, that's the commencement. Then you go on and on and on. That is the continuity. You see, if you look at the children of Israel, as they were healed, and they continued and continued in health. Number one, they were active. That's what we call exercise. They will get up they will move, they carry their tent, they carry everything, and as they were making use of the members of their body, their healing continued. What, what you don't use, you lose. And so, after the healing, you don't just sit down there you get up if you could not walk before you walk if you could not see before you look and you see if your limbs and your legs every part if they've been dormant and you hang them on that invisible um, string or uh, kind of thing you hold it on there but and now we pray and you have the commencement of your healing so you take away that um, hand from the bandage your legs from the chains and your you know the wheelchair you put that aside exercise you get up and you and you see that your healing 
will continue in Jesus' name. Did you hear of that man that got healed? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And Peter the apostle gave him a sign and he lifted him up. And he walking and leaping went to a verma into the temple. Keep on using what you've got. What you don't use, you lose. Your blind eyes are open. Here at the crusade. Keep on using those eyes. Read whatever you can read. Then you keep on reading and reading because what you don't use, you lose. Now, the children of Israel. You know, you wonder when you read the Old Testament. And it says, this is what to eat for them. This is what not to eat. Uh, they kept their healing because they hearkened to the word of God. And they kept to good, good diet. And all the stuff that will make them big and give them obesity. They abandon all that. And the vegetables and the plants and everything the Lord had given them, they joyfully took them. They were not eating junk after they got the healing. And as we go back home, all the sugar too much in our body, all the blood sugar that is giving us problem, and we're waking up seven times every night. We're going to the bathroom, we come back, and before sleep comes again, we're gone and come back because we have overloaded our system with sugar. Let's see all that. That's why God told them, this is what we did. It's okay. And that one is not important. Once I don't steal and once I don't, uh, you know, uh, I don't fight. That's, I can eat anything. Don't eat junk to maintain the health that God has given you. Your health will continue. Your strength will continue. And I see those children of Israel are moving on and on and on. And God promised them, hearken to my word, sickness will not come on your body anymore. Then I see two people there. Those two people. Aaron and Miriam. They were doing proper exercise, good. They were eating according to the diet the Lord has given them, good. But then, after chewing their corn, after chewing their food, they now began to chew Moses, their leader. And he said, Moses, Moses, you talk like this and talk like that. And God showed up. Is that the work God has given you? Instead of preaching the gospel, evangelizing this and that, all they can do now at their table, all they can do now in their privacy, they were chewing Moses. And leprosy came on Miriam. We could have avoided that. We could have been free from that. And our health could have continued. <laughs> Leave Moses alone. God knows about his marriage. God knows about the circumstances. 
leave that alone and keep to the right word. Instead of creating problems for yourself, because we're talking about him, talking about his family, why don't we just look at the promises of God and chew the word, chew the word, chew the word, and swallow the word every day of your life, your health will continue in Jesus' name. In Psalm 103, verse 3, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. How many of thy iniquities did, did the Lord forgive? I've lost my class. God bless you. All your iniquities, without exception, the small one, the great one, the big one, the little one, God forgives tonight in Jesus' name. And then who healeth all thy diseases. How many of your diseases will the Lord heal tonight? Say that again. Say that again. Believe it in your heart. Ulcer heal tonight. Cancer heal tonight. Hearing problem heal tonight. And all the pain inside your throat, in your chest, heal tonight. The pile is healed tonight. And all that thing, Pastor, this is my side. I don't know how it is. I know how it will be. It is healed tonight. All the joints, if I sit down, I cannot stand up. If something falls on the ground, I cannot pick it. You are healed tonight. <laughs> it's, it's the continuity of healing for his redeemed people. Your life healing will continue. Mama, Healing will continue. Amen. Papa, healing will continue. Amen. Young boy, young girl, it has started today. It will continue in Jesus' name. Amen. My young people who are still in school, raise up your hand and wave at me. Your brain will be healed. That certificate, <laughs> look at that boy, he got a good certificate. Look at that girl, he got a certificate. And, and they say it's because the brain of that boy, the IQ, intelligence quotients, we never saw anything like that before. I pass on the best of IQ to you in Jesus' name. Healing will continue. Look at Mark chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The salvation is meant for every creature, the healing is meant for every creature. Verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Do you believe tonight? Do you believe tonight? Signs and wonders will follow you. When we finish, I go back to my country and signs and wonders will follow me. When we finish, you are going back home. As you are going back home, going back to school, going back to work, going back to the marketplace, signs and wonders 
well follow it. All the testimonies you have had here, all these testimonies, they will follow you. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they cast out devils. Any devil there tonight, I cast them out in Jesus' name. They shall speak with new tongues. Hold on, let me explain to you. You know, the old tongue, I am poor. I'm dull. I never do well. God never answers my prayer. Everybody gets it. I don't get it. I'm sometimes on the mountain, sometimes in the valley. That's the old tongue. I am unfortunate. That's the old tongue. I'm a black man. I'm backward. That's the old tongue. You will speak now in new tongues. I arise never to fall again. That's your new tongue. The Lord has provided for me all that I need. And he will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's your new tongue. I was a failure. I'm now a success. That's your new tongue. Nobody loves me. I feel lonely and look at me here. I help people, but I never receive any help. That's old tongue. In the new tongue, my help comes from the Lord and it comes through all this. Everybody I meet will be a blessing in my life. That is how our healing, our health, continues look at verse 18 in verse 18 they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly sin it shall not hurt them and it says they shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover Serpentine spirit will not walk in your body anymore. And all those things, if I eat beans, I become bloated. If I eat uh, rice, I become, uh, you know, so, so constipated. If I eat a local, I can't eat anything. In fact, water and milk, me, no. This one, no. Everything now becomes edible. And they shall lay their hands on the sick. What does that mean? Does that mean the pastor will come, the evangelist will come? They promise for the evangelist, he'll lay his hands on the sick and they shall recover. No, it talks about everybody. It says, These hands shall follow them that believe. Any believer there? Any believer there? When you as a believer, this is a sign that will follow you. That's why I told you that you should lay your hand upon yourself. Is your hand a good hand? Is your hand a spirit controlled hand? Is your hand an anointed hand? Is your hand a believer's hand? Okay, lay that hand upon yourself now. And you will recover. Look at verse 20. In verse 20 it says, 
and they went forth and they preached everywhere and the Lord walking with them. The Lord walking with them. Ah, that's talking about the convener. Only the convener? Who else? I said, who else? The Lord will walk with you. The Lord will walk on you. The Lord will walk in you. When you go like that every day in everything that you do, miracles will never be missing in your life. And confirming the words or signs following. And now, after writing that, the Holy Spirit put an amen at the end of that verse. These signs shall follow them that believe. The Holy Spirit put an amen after that. They will lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. The Holy Ghost put an amen after that. And as you continue walking through life, you are a child of God, you belong to the Lord, you remain, you abide in the Lord. God will never leave you. You will keep on confirming the word in your life. You will go from grace to grace. You will go from strength to strength. You go from healing to health. Look at Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. The same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Let me tell you something. When Jesus was on earth, when he was in Nazareth, he was not at Bethlehem. When he was in Bethlehem, he was not in Jerusalem. When he was in Jerusalem, he was not in Capernaum. But now he's everywhere. He's with you. The healer is with you. When you say Jesus Christ, the same, the same in me, the same in you, the same in her, the same, look at him there, the same in you, as the Lord is with me here, is the same in you over there. Yesterday, yesterday, and today, and for how long? And for how long you will not leave him and he will not leave you. We're coming to point number three now. Is the consummation of healing for his renewed people. The consummation, the climax of healing, of health for his renewed people. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 26 Isaiah chapter 30 verse 26 Moreover the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun You know the difference between the moon and the sun the moon shines dimly by borrowed light. But now, as Christ reigns in your life, you're like the moon before, shining but not so bright. 
heavy but not so heavy strong but no, not so strong another day is starting in your life the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days you were strong before you are going to become stronger tonight intelligent before you are going to be more intelligent tonight you were shining before you are going to shine brighter and brighter and brighter tonight in Jesus name it says that happens in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and also it says he healeth the stroke of their wound salvation comes in a very definite way tonight in your life a change a transformation comes tonight in your life like never before and the Lord is going to save everyone who comes to him heal everyone who demands healing Luke chapter 4 verse 18 in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted your broken heart is healed tonight the pain on your heart when you look around I should have been there I wasn't there I should have gone there I couldn't go and then I have hindrances and limitations all around all the hindrances are taken away your broken heart is healed every pain is taken away from your heart And it says, to preach deliverance to the captives. To the captives. Anything that made you a captive, a slave, the Lord delivers you tonight. Are you saying, I'm a captive to smoking? I'm imprisoned by smoking. I try to stop, I try to stop, but... The syndrome and everything will not leave me alone if I don't take that thing. Which, if I don't take it, all my body, my brain will be screaming. The Lord comes to deliver you tonight. And he talks of recovering of sight to the blind. And to search at liberty them that are bruised. Everything you desire is available for you tonight. Look at verse 21. In verse 21, he says, And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Praise the Lord, you got it tonight. Praise the Lord, life has now become totally changed. You are going to be on a new level tonight. Matthew chapter 14, verse 36. And besought him that they might only touch the hem of of his garment and as many as touched were made perfectly whole you 
You are the receiver of the miracle tonight. I said you are the carrier of signs and wonders tonight. He will receive you first. You repent, he receives you. And then he redeems you. All your past forgiven, all your past renewed. And you are renewed tonight. And then healing, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, you are carrying back home tonight. Where are you? I said, where are you? Happy to see you. I see you on the screen here. I'm happy you are there. Your blessing has now arrived. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You are coming to the Lord and you want him to receive you. Remember, come just as you are. Don't try to brush up something, hide something, clean up something, make this. Turn over a new leaf. Don't turn over any new leaf. Come just as you are. <laughs> and you are coming for salvation. You are coming for forgiveness. That's his business. He will set you free. Raise up that hand. Lord, I come. Raise up that hand. Lord, I come. He will not push you away. He will not reject you. Come just as you are. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up wherever you are. He's ready to receive you now. He's ready to redeem you now. Is ready to renew your heart and your life right now. Come unto me, all you labor and are heavy laden. And he says, I will give you rest. This is your night. He's waiting for you. Don't say, I'm thinking about it. Just come. It's of that hand I'm praying with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for all these, your children, that have come to you now. I pray that forgiveness will be given to everyone, one and all, one by one, in Jesus' name. I pray the peace of God will settle down in every heart. And the knowledge that they are forgiven, they are received. And you are not pushing any prodigal son, prodigal daughter away. You receive everyone, redeem them, save them in Jesus' name. It is done. It is done. The God of mercy has received you. He has forgiven you. He has cast all your sins in the depths of the sea, never to be remembered anymore against you. Now you are forgiven, you are saved. Lord, I pray you witness that in every heart in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You didn't say amen to that one. Our pastor here. Ekumasi is coming now to lead us in this time of counseling. After that, the healing which God has given you already, I'll come back and pass it on to you.
Keep on standing. You have become a new creature. So you cannot tell lie. Keep on standing until the counselors reach you. Counselors, let's make sure that all the stands we'll reach them there. Please give your proper name. Well known in your house. Then your phone number. And our phone number. Let it be very, very clear. Because you are born again. You will not tell lies. So make sure that you keep on standing. Until they reach you. Don't say that I've been attending church. Once you have given your life to the Lord this night. We want to help you. So let them reach you. Keep on standing until they reach you. And take your particulars. For those of us sitting. Tonight. The man of God has already declared. There have been a lot of declarations this, this evening. Miracles have already taken place. But I want you to pray. Begin to pray for more. Don't just sit down and be talking. Be in expectation. Those of you online. You too also. You need to expect the Lord to do something for you tonight. If you are watching online, so and you, you gave your life to Christ, after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link. link GCKHQ. GCKHQ. Dot org. Dot org. Slide connect slash connect display on your screen please visit the link and fill out the form so, so we can can you further said in your new me. walk with Christ also if you are listening via the radio or television said Read you and I say TV so no tear and you just gave your life to Christ. And I do a bra bomb Krisha. Please send your name. That's all for this send your phone number. Or phone number. And your location. And the baby out via SMS. Or SMS. So WhatsApp. And now WhatsApp. To this number. Fafa number is so plus two three four. Plus two three four. Nine one. Nine one. Five four. Five four 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 nine two nine two six three six three. I repeat the number. Meeting of you plus two three four plus two three four nine one five nine one five four 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 nine two nine two six three six three. There will be a special meeting lunch hour with Jesus. For all those who gave their lives to, G uh, to Christ since we came here. If you pray, say, you may dear, say, any idea, one may Christ on you know, any Christ on beton said, did he? At the VIP stand there. Our VIP, a honor. They have been meeting every 3 p.m. It's your order, be a. And tomorrow it will continue. If you are not being there, get there. They will help you to continue. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ. Who gave their life to Christ on Sunday, 4th August. There will be able to help you. 
And then you keep on serving the Lord. Those who receive Christ online. Then this alpha location. Remember, this is global crusade. All over the world. We are seeing now. Connected. A carbon. And we call this place Alpha Location. The Fraha said Alpha Location. That is Kumasi is Alpha Location. I say Kumasi ha aha na ye Alpha Location. This Ashanti region Alpha Location. Ashanti Memo Alpha Location. There'll be there'll be believers banquet on Sunday, fourth August. Kosiada. In all churches, Bible Church, and all other churches, and in sorry, that day should be the day we give special welcome to the new converts, those who have come to Christ and backsliders restored. We want to encourage our sister churches. The churches that joined us to hold uh, this program. They should do well. That that 4th August, every church should specially welcome the new converts. We should treat them very special. And in the schools, yesterday at the impact, they were more than 40,000. Many of them came from various secondary schools around. And to assume you know and a buy and more than ten thousand of our children in these schools they gave their lives to the Lord. Now a better and people do our free sales to cool you buy and do more my ready. We want to encourage all uh, all of us together, including the sister churches. Some of you, you are, you are having ministry to these schools. And some uh, of these schools belongs to some of you. We want to help them. The convener of GCK want to see them making it to heaven. Not only that, you want them to succeed in life. Let's all help. When we go to these schools, let's see how we will, we will help these converts to grow. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Counselors, we are waiting for you. Are you praying? Those of you sitting, are you praying? The Lord is about to do something spectacular in your life. That your child will be healed tonight. That problem is about to go tonight. That pain is about to go tonight. Don't just sit down. Be praying. Be talking to the Lord. Wherever you are hearing, wherever you are connected, any nation you are connected, we are asking you to be praying and get yourself ready. Be preparing. Counselors, if you are finished, let's see the flag. I, I've seen one, one over there. I've seen number two. Yes. If you are finished, wave it. Oh, we yes, I've seen on the yellow stand, the red stand over there. The red, the, the red stand, counselors, let's be fast. Let's be fast. I've seen it at the VIP session. VIP section. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Yeah, crado. Get yourself ready. Yeah, crado. Yes, I want to see. Understand. Facing the podium, I want to see. If you are finished, 
Samoya, Mayehunu. Yes. For here we have seen your faith, but I'm looking at the stand. Ani, I see the and we say Moya, Nemo Asrono, Samoya, Mumia Hunu. Yes. Ani. I've not seen the flag at the stand there. In who say Muhim of Franca and Osro? Maybe those of you that are free, please get over there and help them. Mama, we are more than Let's go to the rest stand there. I'm telling me, I'm calling. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go there and help them. I'm calling you, I'm I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. Already declarations have gone on. Already the Lord has start, uh, started healing. And the man of God will soon come. And seal up all the healings. Be in expectation. Be in expectation. Tell the, tell the Lord, I'm ready. Wherever you are hearing me. Are you in USA? Oh, America, man. Tonight, Anaji. if you are in Saudi Arabia, so, Saudi Arabia. If you are in Gambia, so, Gambia. If you are in India, so, India. Any, any country in the world oh, man, be almost, that are connected to us here, the Lord is reaching you over there. You know, the the testimonies, when you are bringing the testimony, make sure you add your country to it. So, they are dancing about you. We are receiving a lot of testimonies, but some of you, you don't add your country to it. We we want to uh, we want to know the country where you received that miracle. And tonight, testimonies are will come all over the world. Because the man of God is ready. Yes, the standard, are we okay? Yes, we are ready. Are we ready? The one holding the flag in front, are we ready? Are you ready? The rest stand. Yes, yes, they are ready Ane. now. Ane. Let's stand on our feet and, so and so. welcome the man of God again. You will receive. Amen. 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 I am ready heaven is ready for you remember he sent his word and he healed them all i see that healing over there to my right hand side i said the healing in front of me i said the healing on your side right there and it stands healing, deliverance everywhere. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand on yourself. And the Lord will work with us and bring your healing and deliverance. Heaven is ready. Let's pray now. Father, in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because you are ready for everyone. You want to heal everyone. Deliver everyone. I pray, Lord, send forth your healing to everyone right now. In Jesus' name. Send forth your deliverance upon everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that those blind eyes be opened right now. Deaf and dumb hear and speak out clearly in Jesus' name. Internal problem. Ulcer, cancer, bleeding, HIV, every internal pain or disease be healed in Jesus' name. 
Lord, I pray that those who have external challenges swelling in their body, problem on their skin, problem on their faces, Lord, I pray you send forth perfect healing to everyone now in Jesus' name. This one live on crutches, on wheelchair. I send forth your healing and your strength. And I pray that every part of your body will receive supernatural touch and strength. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Healing everyone now, everywhere now. Deliverance everywhere now. Signs and wonders everywhere now. To my right, to my left, to the center, to the front, to the back. Everywhere, definite miracle of healing upon everyone. Online, in a congregation, online as families and individuals, online in the prison, in the hospital, online in every community and every nation. Lord, send forth your healing, send forth your power. Let there be miracles of healing, deliverance everywhere in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. You've got it. Receive it now. You enjoy your healing. This healing will continue. In Jesus' name, we pray.